This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The show overall gets a mixed bag. According to the uh, readers of the wrestling observer, it got 38.7% thumbs up 31.9% thumbs in the middle and 29.4% thumbs down. You watched it for the first time in 25 years this week, Bruce. What'd you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. I thought it was thumbs up. It was a good show. Was it a great show? No, it wasn't a great show, but it was a good show. And I think that overall, you know, told the stories and, and took some unfortunate situations and made the best out of them. But at the end of it, you, you felt good and you had a good two hour show. This to me felt like no way out would a few years later. It's sort of the lame duck show to bridge the gap between Royal rumble and WrestleMania, because it feels like so much of this show was really designed just to set up SummerSlam, right? That was the whole reason for the show. You know, you, you got committed into these monthly pay-per-views. And so, yeah, it was one set up the next one. The uh, show is down in buy rate compared to beware of dog. You went from a 0.45 to a 0.37. Do you think the warrior coming off the card hurt the buy rate? Is it more uh, of an indicator that WCW is just a hotter product? Or are fans not really going to buy a six man main event as a heated issue? Well, you know, and again, not having the official numbers in front of me and going back and looking at official, like real numbers and what business actually was and listening to what uh, a dirt sheet writer in California writes down as numbers. <sighs> I can't take a lot of credits at credit credence in that. Uh, because I don't think that he knew the numbers at all either. I think that he was getting his calling a few people, the pay-per-view companies and uh, things of that nature. And, hey, how did this do? That's how he got his information. Make no mistake about it. He didn't have real numbers. He doesn't have our access to our real business numbers. So I, I, I really don't even know how to even respond to that because I, when I know that 99% of his stuff is false, um, it's it's hard to hard to react to that. Okay. Well, um, as a point of reference, King of the Ring got a point six zero buy rate. Summer. But you're reading Meltzer stuff. Nope. I'm not. You're reading our financials. Yes. Okay. If you're reading our financials, I don't have them in front of me. Let's jump. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.